Hello everyone. Uh, here you can see that while uh, doing Faco chop, I landed up in accidental Faco punch defect. I can see the red glow clearly. It was a very uh, a difficult situation with whole of the nuclear still uh, in the capsular bag. So let's see how did I manage this case, and I will also let you know uh, why it happened. So uh, this is a quite brown cataract. Started with making the side ports. Staining the capsule to fawn blue, entering the chamber with uh, 2.8 keratome, starting my capsular axis with the with, uh, 26 gauge band cystitome. Planning for a around uh, 4.5 to 5 millimeter size capsular axis. Always uh, make sure that the flap is flat. Removing some of the viscoelastics, uh, debulking the chamber, and then started a uh, hydro procedure. One can see the fluid wave. And started after rotation, uh, checking the rotation of the nucleus, started my FECO emulsification. This is the chop I, uh, that I am doing with the parameters mentioned here. So uh, my plan is to do uh, the chop of around uh, 6 to 8 pieces. Taking out one pie so as to debulk the bag. Doing the chopping with sharp chopper. So now uh, taking out, now we can see that I went to periphery and with high power with the chop parameters you can see that my location was to periphery and I, I was in uh, too high power and vacuum and because of which I landed up in this punch hole defect. So I decided to uh, stop here, injected viscoelastics, tamponated that part and then uh, continued with lower parameters with quadrant settings. You can see that I have uh, reduced all the parameters here. And while after taking out the pie, I was now sure that uh, the PC was intact. So the punch defect was thrown and through, through the nucleus. I was lucky that it uh, did not touch or did not pierce through the posterior capsule. So one should be very careful. And uh, when you are in a high vacuum or high power, should not go to periphery because periphery, the nucleus could can be a little bit on the softer side. So after removing the nucleus, now I'm doing biomineral irrigation aspiration. The thing is that my foot pedal con uh, I controlled well because uh, as soon as I noticed uh, that that the tip has is going too deep i immediately come back to uh, foot pedal one did not continue it otherwise i would have landed up in uh, puncture in the posture capsule as well so after removing the cordage i'm doing hydro polish of the posture capsule injecting viscoelastics to fill the chamber and the capsular bag now a single piece lens is placed in the capsular bag Now it's time to remove the viscoelastics going below the eye well to wash out the viscoelastic which is there and then you can see that the AC well form eye well center. Thank you. Thank you for watching.